Hey everybody, have you ever gotten back from vacation and you're going through your photos and you're like, what was that place called or what was the name of that? Or you took a picture of a really cool car and you're like, I have no freaking clue what that is. So I'm going to show you how to use Google to identify things. And it's really, really a powerful program. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is put two windows to the right I'm gonna have Google just straight out google.com and on the left I'm gonna open Windows Explorer and I'm going to put my photos that I want to identify in there so over here I've got about what about 20 photos that I'm pretty sure you can identify some of them but maybe not all of them and if you get back from vacation or you get back from traveling and you can't identify a photo, this is what you do. Just go over to Google and right here it says search by image. You just click here and then you drag and drop. That's it. Now it's what it's going to do, it's going to go through all of the internet and it's going to find what it believes is a match. And in, in this one, it is the ancient city in Turkey. So you can search, you know, you can go and learn all about whatever is in your photograph. And a lot of times you just, you know, you, you, you're on a tour and people are pointing things out and you can't remember everything that's told to you. So this is a good tool to help you identify all the different things. So a lot of this started in 2010. We were on a tour in Russia, and we're in Moscow, and the lady's telling us where everything is, and she said, well, this is the former KGB building, and that's all I remember about this building. But now, using Google Lens, I can look up, and it's called the Lubyanka Square, the Lubyanka building. And, you know, even something as simple as what I thought was the Onion Domes, St. Basil's Cathedral. And... This is right there in red square. So what you can do here, you can just continue to, to drag and drop, or you can go back to Google at any time and just start over. So let's look at this one here. What could this be? Okay, so what it did, it, it focused on the main object. And if you go up here, it says the Tower of Pisa. But if you look around here, this does not look like Italy. So. What we can do, and that's kind of why I put this photo in here, we can expand out, and it's going to be like, oh, it's not the Leaning Tower of Pisa. It's the Leaning Tower of Niles, which is right outside the city of Chicago. Um, just keep going here. Identify art. This is Calder's Flamingo. I mean, it'll identify nature. Let's, did I miss that? Okay, let's pull this picture over here and drop it. So this is a this is an overlook in Cornwall in the southwest of England, and just such a beautiful part of the world. But you can get the specific name, you know, Kynance Kynance Cove. Um, It'll identify historical things, like this is St. Maraglis in the Normandy region of France. The Mostar Bridge in Mostar, Bosnia and Herzegovina. Absolutely beautiful place. Um, so sometimes, let's see what it does here. It's going to try to identify what it knows it can identify. So just like we did in the Leaning Tower of Pisa, let's go ahead and expand the search area and we're going to find out this is the small town of Bayou which is in the Normandy region also and it can be something as simple we were on a river tour to Bratislava I think and this is this, you know you see this big imposing thing and it is indeed the Bratislava Castle. And it, it, it focuses again, just like I usually always like to pull it out and let it see everything that I saw. Works on, like I said earlier, pieces of art. This is the Cloud Gate in Chicago. 
It even works on cars. So you want to pull this old car up? I mean, obviously, it's a Fiat 500. And it pulls you, you know, all the different photographs of it. It's pretty, pretty cool. Um, let's see. Flowers. We'll just keep going. That's the Dahlia. Random churches. We've taken pictures of 10,000 million churches, it seems like. This is the Cathedral Notre Dame in Bayou. And then this car, I would have thought this was an American car. This is a Renault Juva Quattre classic car. So looks like it needs a paint job. Um, let's try fish. Of course, the old red discus. Bird, kingfisher. It'll even pull up shoes where you can buy shoes if you see a photo. Take a picture of some shoes. It'll tell you the brand and I think you can buy them. Um, last two are a little strange. So this is a restaurant that used to be a CIA aircraft. It's called El Avion and it's in uh, Costa Rica. And, you know, it'll, it'll pull that up. It'll tell you everything there is to know about that. And then finally, Russia, caviar and pancakes. No idea. I ate it. It was weird. And now it's identified. Thanks for watching.